Welcome back to UK Strongest Man, the next generation here on Challenge. Deadlifts in the books and up next is an event that sounds somewhat like a Stephen King novel about a murderous transvestite, the carry and drag. <laughs> and uh, to introduce it, a man that I can't even tenuously link to that segue. Although a weekend's in Belfast, he is called Glennis. It's Glenn Ross. Event four, the carry and drag race. What an event this is. Four lanes, guys going head to head at it. Who has the biggest drag in the business? We'll soon see at this junior level. 100 kilo cannonball has to be loaded onto these gunpowder barrels. Then they've got to run back and drag this massive 300 kilogram chain and anchor. What a tough event. Who's going to win? We'll soon see. Well, let's meet the competitors now. Cameron Spears on the left of your shot will be first to introduce the Scott from Kikoldi in five, Spears. welder by trade, he's 20 years old. In eighth place with 2.5 points at the moment. Got a lot of work to do here. Next to Mark Topham on the right of your Spears. shot from England from Newcastle upon time. He's seventh with 8.5 points, so he's got a lot to do as well. Uh, the Irishman in the next lane, Pierce O'Kane, 23 year old. In fifth place with 13 points after the first three events and then uh, Matthew McCoy of Ireland equal third with 16 points going very nicely at the moment and the Irish weightlifting championships from 2008 to 2011 so he's come into the strongman arena now there's 100 kilograms of stone has got to be delivered going well O'Kane overtakes him and O'Kane I think is going to be the first there he does to get the 100 kilograms there, and then they've got to pull this out of the skip. Look at this. An Irish skip. And now they've got to get this 300 kilogram uh, anchor to find it's any part of the anchor, or at least the first part of the anchor, to touch that finish line is all that's needed. The senior competitions are all anchors to get across the line, but not so here. Now then, who's going to win this one? Topham going very strongly indeed. So is McCoy. Oh, well, that's the again. And look at this. It's going to be McCoy again, I think. Is he going to get there first? It's Cherry close. Let's watch his anchor. Gets to the line. Now he's on the line. McCoy wins it. In second place is uh, Topham. Yeah, he's there. So Kane will be third. And uh, Cameron Spears in desperate trouble. And uh, he's only got it about three, three or four metres. He's really struggling here. And I don't think he's going to move it much further, quite frankly, within the 90 seconds allowed. This 15-metre trail is too much for him. The Scott started off in eighth place with two and a half points, and he's not going to add too much to it, I don't think, on this performance. Trying his hardest, though. You've got to give him credit for that, but that's it. And I think he'll go on distance only, and that's a real problem for him. Great shame. Well, the next foursome up, Joshua McCabe of Ireland would be the first to be introduced. Sixth place, 12 points, 20 years old, second in the Junior Ireland Strongest Man this year. Thomas Parks of Scotland, he's in second place with 16 and a half points, so going very well indeed. Chris Bundell, how well he's going. He's the overall leader with 22 and a half points going into this fourth event. And right on the outside, Adam Bishop, who's in the fourth lane. Let's find out more about Adam. Adam Bishop, 23, from Surrey in England. Uh, well, I started quite early. I used to be a rugby player. I um, was lucky enough to play professionally for a year. Uh, but then after that, I decided that I wanted to go more into like, the strength side of things. My strengths are mainly moving events, moving with weight. Uh, weaknesses are usually kind of pressing events. So any. Anything overhead, static, I don't, well, I enjoy, I'm just not very good at it. Um, my best performance in Strongman is probably last year, I had a very good year last year. Um, I was lucky enough to win the UK Strongest Man Under 105. Uh, and then I decided I liked food too much, so I decided to eat up and join the larger boys. No real strategy, I'm just going to try and do my best in all the events and uh, obviously try and you know, keep up with the guys on some of my weaker events. Well, nearest two is uh, Adam Bishop. He's um, equal third with 16 points then, and let's see how they progress now. Here we go, Chris Bundell has gone off very quickly. Well, it's not, oh, gosh, it's, uh, that in fact is Thomas Sparks of uh, Scotland who knocked that over. It's got to go onto the plinth, and that will have hurt his time, even if he's successful in getting the 
uh, anchored down the other end. Uh, Pondell is going very, very strongly indeed, isn't he? And so is Adam Bishop on the near side. Bishop actually ahead of Pondell on this occasion. A very good performance by Bishop. He's there. That's a cracking performance by uh, Adam Bishop. Well, we heard from him. There's certainly one of his strengths. And Bundell in uh, second place there indeed. And it looks as though uh, Joshua McCabe coming under real pressure. Thomas Parks. That's uh, what a finish between these two, McCabe and Park. Okay, getting that uh, nearest point, he's still got some work to do. Parks also got a bit to do. In that first part of that anchor to hit that line, he's still got about six inches to go. It's still not there, and his time will suffer. Yes, he's got it there. So, McCabe ahead of uh, Parks. And uh, the winning time, very, very good indeed, 28.68. Uh, for Adam Bishop. That's the fastest time overall thus far. <laughs> Still, <laughs> I tell you what, Thomas Parks having a real go at this final stages here. Well, let's have a look at the so Adam Bishop 28.68, Bundell 33, McCoy 53.19, Topham 59.19, then the minute for O'Kane. Another superlative performance from Adam the Bish Bishop. Tell me what went on there. Oh, man, I like that event. Uh, a lot of moving. Just, it's all on the drag. It doesn't matter how fast you do the cannonball. Just got to keep your legs popping on that drag. It's tough work. You're an absolute ox. How did you keep going? I have no idea. Just, I just wanted to finish it as fast as possible. Get the pain over and done with. Now, Chris, uh, Adam looks like one of your closest competitors right now. You're both from the south of England. Is there any rivalry there? Um, nothing bitter. I mean... <laughs> We competed three times against each other and he's beat me all three times, so um, I feel like I'll redeem myself here, but if I'm going to lose to anyone, I'd like to lose to Adam anyway. Well, let's have a look at the situation then. 29.5 for Fundell. Bishop in second, five uh, points down, five and a half down, then McCoy in third. Well, they're the podium places at the moment, but it's early days, isn't it? Well, that just about concludes the first day of action here on the UK's Strongest Man, the Next Generation 2012, here on Challenge. And so far, there are two very strong Englishmen really vying for pole position. Absolutely. Adam Bishop and Chris Bundell are showing the world that they are indeed the next generation. Two potential ones to watch for UK's and maybe more. I'd be very surprised if we don't see them at the UK's uh, very soon. So, Matthew McCoy. We've got to talk about the real McCoy, <laughs> haven't we? He's the system. Big jolly farm boy from 30 miles down the road, and he's just entertaining everybody here, including me. Yeah, indeed, he's part Peter Kay and part Glenn Ross, isn't he? Well. <laughs> Join us next time to find out what happens for the rest of the action in the UK's strongest man, the next generation. I'm Matt Bell. And I'm Nick Aldis. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.